Looking for magic cards or magic carps? TCG Player has all the singles you need to upgrade your decks. Import a list with mass entry and let the card optimizer do the rest. Use my affiliate link down below when shopping and you'll be supporting the channel at the same time. Hello and welcome to another standard game to video. Today we're taking a look at a white, black and green or Absan colored poison deck. The plan is simple, apply 10 poison counters to the opponent to win the game. And compared to the traditional green-white builds of this deck, we're essentially adding an extra color to speed up the deck as we get to play with an additional 1-drop. The Skull Dweller is a 1-1 with Death Touch and Toxic 1, so if it damages the opponent we get to apply Poison Counter. And then at 2 mana there's Drown and Icker, giving a creature minus 4, minus 4 until end of turn. And we also get to Proliferate, which is also very helpful since we get to Proliferate a Poison Counter if the opponent had one already. So that's also very synergistic with our goal of applying 10 Poison Counters. So by adding an extra removal spell, we also make it easier to clear a path for our poison creatures to keep attacking. And then we've got, of course, the traditional green-white creatures as well, Venerated Rot Priest to punish opposing spot removal spells by applying a poison counter for each copy we have in play. Don't have as many pump spells to target our own creatures with Rot Priest, so it's a little bit less synergistic here than it was before. Although in a pinch, you can always drown and icker your own creature, if that means potentially applying a few more poison counters between drown proliferating and the Rot Priest as well. Then we've got Skrelv, which is very useful as well, can protect our key creatures by staying back, and the ability can also help attack past opposing blockers if they only have a single color back on defense. There's a Crawling Chorus, a 1-1 with Toxic 1, when it dies it leaves behind a Might token which also has Toxic 1, although it cannot block. And then at 2 mana there's the Double Striking Duelist, which has great synergy especially with Skrelv, because Skrelv's ability also applies an extra instance of Toxic 1, so if we use that on the Duelist, it will essentially gain Toxic 2, meaning that if it hits the opponent with Double Strike, we apply 4 Poison Counters total, which can quickly add up. The Duelist also great with our Seed Core, which is one of the reasons why we can get away with playing 3 colors, as it will fix our mana to cast our Frags and Creatures, but once we have Corrupted Enabled, meaning the opponent has 3 or more Poison Counters, Counters, we can also give a 1-1 creature plus 2 plus 1 until end of turn, so we can potentially turn our duelist into a 3-2 double strike, which can attack past larger creatures, and in addition with Skrull's Hive can also gain a lot of life back, the Hive making a 1-1 might token every turn at the cost of 1 life, and as long as we have Corrupted enabled, creatures we control with Toxic, which is every creature in this deck, will gain a life link as well, incredibly useful when trying to race an opposing red deck for instance. And then the Slaughter Singer, also a key piece of this deck, a 2-2 with Toxic 2, so this one applies 2 poison counters if it hits the opponent, and whenever another creature we control with Toxic attacks, it gets plus 1 plus 1 until end of turn, so this one is a great way to gain a ton of extra life with our Skrull's Hive, and can also be a surprise when the opponent's not playing around it, to all of a sudden give our entire team plus 1 plus 1 out of nowhere. And then at 3 mana we get to play with a full set of Annex Sentry. This one shines especially in Best of One, where there's a lot of aggressive creature decks, as it gets to enter the battlefield and exile an opposing artifact or creature an opponent controls with mana value 3 or less until the Sentry leaves the battlefield. Can also maybe exile a token for good, from a Fable of the Mirror Breaker for instance, and the Sentry itself also has a Toxic 1. And then finally, two copies of the Bloated Contaminator, a 4-4 Trampler with Toxic 1, and when it deals combat damage to a player, we also get to Proliferate, so this one also shines alongside Skrull's Hive. Could potentially play the full playset of Contaminator, and potentially cut some other cards, but I've been happy with the very low curve of this deck, so we can go 1-drop, maybe double 1-drop on turn 2, and quickly present a lethal army of Toxic creatures. Then a mana base, as we mentioned, can be a bit tricky in a 3-color deck like this one, especially one with a low curve, but we get to play with some pretty nifty lands such as a seed core. Secluded Courtyard naming Phyrexian does a similar job to the seed core in fixing our mana for creatures, although these don't help us cast a Drown or Skrelv's Hive, so we still need some white and black mana that can actually cast these. So we've got all the pain lands here, Caves of Koilos and Lenor Waste to help cast them as well as two copies of Thrain Portal, which is fine in a low curve deck as it will be untapped, much like the fast lands if it's one of our first three lands. can name any color and then it will make that color of mana, although it does cost us one life every time we tap it, so it's even more painful than the pain lands, since at least these we can tap for colorless mana without having to pay any life, so don't want to go overboard with the Thrain Portal. 
and then four copies of Razor Verge Thicket as a new fast land, and finally two copies of Mirex, which can make one mana of any color if the turn we played it, but of course afterwards it only makes colorless mana, so we want to use it sparingly and typically better to hold it for as long as possible, but in the late game it also offers a bit of additional utility, for three mana we can tap it to make a 1-1 Might token, so that shines especially in the more controlling matchups. So yeah, that's our deck, now let's jump into some games and see how the deck does. Okay, we're on the draw. Our hand seems keepable. Probably go with Skralv and two duelists. And then try and get to three poison as soon as possible to enable the lifelink on Hive. Harvester can potentially take out Skralv. Still interested in playing duelist. Rot Priest would not have helped since Harvester is an ability, so the only alternative was maybe a Drown killing Harvester. Although I would prefer to Drown once the opponent already has a poison, so the Proliferate actually helps. Opponent goes digging, discarding a Shieldred, so they must have another one in hand. And a Scram Gorger now. Okay, take our turn. So, opponent has... Two creatures on defense with different colors now. So I probably have to drown anyways here. And then Skrelv can give Pro Green to attack past the Scrap Gorger. Or we can kill Scrap Gorger and then give Pro Black or Red, since Harvester doesn't matter until they make another blood token. Whereas Scrap Gorger can help them ramp. Do we play Skull Dweller or Rot Priest? I'm gonna go with the Rot Priest since I expect him to kill my stuff soon. So, yeah, go for Drown. Kill Scrap Gorger. And then we'll pay the two life here. Opponent at four poison. And now Skrull's Hive will give life link as well. So we may be able to outrace a Shieldred. Another reason to kill Scrap Gorger is that if they play Shieldred here with Pro Black, we can attack past both blockers. And then now we also have the Seed Core to potentially pump our creatures with. And it's gonna be a Tyvar. Makes sense. Glad we didn't kill Harvester now, since they could have gotten it back. Put on clearly a Reanimator deck with Titan and Cruelty. Gets back Scrap Gorger, which they can activate right away. Picked up another Drown, perfect. So kill Scrap Gorger again. And then we'll be able to either finish off Tyvar or keep going face, which I also don't mind. So what I could do is give Rot Priest protection, going after Tyvar, whereas Duelist goes face, and if they block with Harvester I can use Seed Core. Although, then I probably tap my mana incorrectly since I won't be able to play Skull Dweller anymore. So I think we'll just keep it simple. Ignore Tyvar. This can name Black. Play high for lifelink. And this can go face. Opponent will be at 9 poison. If they try and target my creatures with spot removal, they die to the Rot Priest. And we just need to get one more damage in. And our opponent explodes. Awesome. On to the next one. Alright, we're on the draw. Seem to have a Keeper. Chorus into Hive, into Contaminator. And then Drown as removal. Facing Soldiers. Definitely gonna trade if they offer. Although they might play a lore to give plus one plus one. Just a frontliner for now. And another officer. Take that trade. And then we'll attack. Opponent trades once again. And then can play Mirex so I don't have to take damage to play Hive. 
and then we'll still have the black and white necessarily later. Okay, officer, something we would like to take out as soon as possible. Although it's not very man efficient to do so now. So I think we sadly have to give them officer for a turn. And then next turn I can hive plus drown. Hope there's no brutal Cathar. Because then I'm not sure if it's worth it to kill the Cathar or to take out the officer anyway. Okay, officer attacks. Take two. Opponent passes. So they may be on a build with the Wandering Emperor. They may be planning to just activate Officer. Yeah, I'm not sure if Contaminator wants to be attacking. If they exile it with Emperor, it's pretty bad for me. But I also don't want to give them the chance to just activate Officer for free. Rod Priest does not apply poison if the Emperor exiles with a minus two since it's an ability. All right, we got our first poison damage in. So that's nice. And then drown plus hive. I guess we'll get to waste and play. They may have the counter spell in hand. Nope, just the reinforcements. So that can draw with the officer on the way out. And another reinforcements, so they're going very wide. Now I'm terrified of a Harbin. But at least Hive gives lifelink now. Cathar exiles Contaminator, that's a setback. Our big lifelinker. And this is not a race we're easily winning. Sentry, get back Contaminator, okay. I think I attack first, in case they block I can activate Seed Core instead. Opponent takes it. Yeah, may as well activate the Seed Core here and gain two life, makes up for the life loss from our pain lands. And it's not like I'm going to be able to use it on defense. And then Rod Priest plus Sentry and just gonna hope there's no Harbin next turn. Should be able to survive most other cards. Okay, Frontliner unearthed and a Valiant Veteran, that's pretty good. Although we do have a 4-4 Life Linker back on defense. So, let's say we jump Officer. And then block like so. Take 6, but gain 6 as well. This looks okay. And yeah, opponents packs it in. Next turn we should be able to attack back for a healthy amount. And the Hives are going to keep us alive. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw, and our hand seems acceptable. We'll have to make a choice on the Thram portal, whether it's on black or if we want to be able to cast Slaughter Singer. Probably makes more sense to play it on black up against a mono red deck with turn one Kumano. No Skrelv's Hive, which would be one of our better cards here in the matchup. Sentry can be quite useful too. And then I'm hoping we can get a poison damage in before needing to drown. So we can proliferate our poison. Arada's Firebrand enters with a counter. So I could drown it and then get in for one, although we don't get to proliferate any poison. Alternative is to play Slaughter Singer using Thram Portal on white. And then I can attack for two. And then next turn we can either Sentry or... Drown. Although if I drown, I wouldn't be able to double spell necessarily. So the upside of drowning now is that I will be able to double spell next turn with Skull Dweller plus maybe a Slaughter Singer or Duelist. So I'll take one so we don't have to take four. And I don't think there's an advantage to proliferating the Saga. But sometimes that can come up. Where proliferating on a wedding announcement, for instance, can make it so the opponent gets one fewer token. So 
So take two. And another Firebrand. Okay, Seed Core saves me a bit of damage. So, Sentry Exile Firebrand. Could have also still attacked with a Crawling Chorus. And then maybe gone Skull Dweller plus Duelist on defense. Also would have been reasonable. So if I block with Sentry, they can finish it off with a Burn Spell, get their Firebrand back. But it's also Burn Spell that's not going somewhere else. So I'm okay with blocking here. Okay, Lightning Strike. Exiles our Sentry. Also with the uh, etching out, if they deal damage to the chorus, it gets exiled, so I don't get the extra might token, which can make a difference. But yeah, I'll attack, and then don't expect my opponent to trade. And then we'll be able to play Skull Dweller plus Duelists, wait on the Slaughter Singer until we have more creatures out, and hope there's no end of festivities, since that would be a disaster. Could have played around it a little bit better by hanging on to the Seed Core's ability. So our opponent's still only on 3 poison. Phoenix Shake is fine. And an all-out attack. Okay, so we can trade for Firebrand. Or we can take 6 down to 8. I think we should trade. And another Kumano is fine. Okay, get to double spell here if we don't want to activate Seed Core. Opponent at 6 poison, so we are threatening lethal next turn. And then any reason to play a Triumph Portal? Can't think of many, but sure. We'll name black again. Reinforced Ronin's fine. And another Kumano. Okay. So our opponent will have to keep some blockers back. Right now I can just take 5, 6 down to 3. And then we should be able to attack back for lethal. Alright, GG's. Could have also activated Seed Core on Duelist before getting the plus one plus one, but not necessary here. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the play. Our hand isn't perfect since we can't actually cast Drown. I do like Skrelv and Two Hive, but uh, that's probably not going to be enough. Okay, this seems slightly better. And then do I need Thram Portal? Probably not, since we have Caves. And then all our colors are sorted. No one drop this time, so that's the drawback. Rot Priest, so up against Blue Red. Could be Grixis, in which case Resolving Hive is probably our best bet. And then next turn I could double spell Singer and Priest. Okay, looks like Just Guy Control instead. They could have some sweepers, Brotherhood Sand, for instance, but probably still have to go for it. And then next turn we could get in for a healthy amount of poison. Yep, there it is. Well, hopefully that's the only one we have to face. Drown may not find a lot of targets. So let's get in there. Probably see spot removal on Singer. Maybe a Wandering Emperor. No, oh, opponent takes it. So now the Seed Core is online. Do I play a Skull Dweller out? Yeah, I think we have to put the pedal to the metal here.
apparatus makes sense. Opponent gets to discount their spells, which does mean they could already cast a farewell here if they wanted to, exiling the Skrelv's Hive, and then we don't have anything left. Just gotta hope they don't have it. Could technically drown my own creature just to proliferate, which may be worth it if we need to apply one more poison. Fires of Victory takes out Slaughter Singer. All right, let's attack. Don't think we're drowning quite yet. Opponent with a scrutiny to draw two. They did miss their land drop last turn, so possible they have a farewell in hand, but just didn't have the land for it. But now apparatus discounting by two is going to be enough. All right, we get to untap. And let's attack. Would technically be a lethal attack here. And if they kill one or two of my creatures, I can still maybe get there with Drown. Okay, another fires this one with Kicker. So if we can connect with two creatures and have them tapped out, then Double Drown will do it. Another fire, so they still have potential counterspell mana up thanks to that deserted beach. So, they can syncopate unless I pay two, which is enough to counter my second round, but I can resolve the first one. So, let's give it a shot. And it does seem like they have a response. I think we still go for it. We force them to use a counter spell, and if they counter, then I don't lose my creature. And yeah, there's syncopate unless you pay two. So no proliferating. Oh, opponent still at 9 poison. Got two mites in play. Let's hope for the best. Opponent exiles our Skrelv's Hive. Yeah, so now there's a sweeper, we're in trouble. And I burn down the house, dealing 5. Alright, so Seed Core is not going to be enough to save them. So our opponent still has 3 cards in hand. We draw a land. So best top deck now, maybe our uh, Rot Priest, so if the opponent tries to take it out with spot removal they die, but I'm sure they still have plenty of sweepers in hand. They could start taking extra turns as well with a gambit. So not loving my chances, scrutiny to draw 5. That's probably game over. Yeah, the early Brotherhood ends definitely stifled our chances. Crawling Chorus, actually one of our better draws. Although resolving it is going to be tricky. Pwn can counter unless we pay 6, which is enough at the moment. Alright, I resolved. They might be able to exile it. Deluge only gets to look at 2 cards here. And the Union don't care about life gain at least. So they'll have to kill our chorus, and then the leftover might eventually. This is definitely a matchup where I would have liked to have more copies of the Mirex in our mana base to make additional 1-1s one end of turn. I wouldn't as a future shuffle those card draw spells back. Alright, let's get in for one. And I'm sure we'll see a removal spell. So Ring City to bounce. Replay it. Question is whether we want to play a Skrelv as well and potentially run into a Sweeper. I think we still do. They could flashback Deluge, but again, it's just a draw two here.
And there's a White Sun's Twilight making 10 Might tokens. They still need to deal with the leftover Might. But I'm sure they don't lack answers. And then they're going to be able to kill us in one attack. So I don't think we have any top decks that save us anymore. Except for maybe a Drown killing an opposing Might and proliferating. And our opponent is tapped out, so we actually have a chance of drawing a winning top deck. Alright, let's go for it. Drown and Icker. Just a secluded courtyard. Alright, GG's. So definitely an interesting game. Possible we could have played slightly differently. I think in general going for it and hoping they don't have the Brotherhood send on three is probably fine, but uh, just didn't work out that way. All right, on to the next one. Okay, we're on the play. Our hand seems keepable. Can cast most of our spells here. If we draw Drown or Hive, Seed Core's not going to help. For now, turn one, Rot Priest versus Skrelv. Kind of like the curve of Skrelv into Duelists. The alternative is maybe Rot Priest and then double one drop on turn two. Opponent's black white, so yeah, protecting the Duelist with Skrelv is probably worth it. And then next turn we could activate to give an extra Toxic. So opponent on the Asper Legends deck. Okay, we've got a couple options here. Just gonna play a double one drop. And then I think it's worth it to get four poison damage in. Even though they may be able to kill one of my creatures next turn. Rot Priest can punish them. And then Skull Dweller. Probably more useful. The Seed Core is now also online, so we can pump all of our 1 1s. And yeah, go for the throat and our opponent concedes. They can kill Duelist, take a poison, and then they're still in a lot of trouble. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the play. Our hand seems fine. Can cast all our spells. And then what 1 drop do we lead with? I'm leaning Rot Priest, although I wouldn't be able to double White 1 drop on 2, so that probably means start with a Skrelv. Or a Crawling Chorus. We'll go with a Skrelv. In case I pick up a turn to Duelist, that's a better curve. Okay, now we can Rot Priest plus Chorus. Up against Red Black. Could have also left Skrelv untapped to protect the Rot Priest itself, but if our opponent plays a Harvester. Then I want to get my poison damage in while we can. Okay, Singer was a good draw. So, could leave the Seed Core untapped. Does that make a difference? Can't think of many great reasons to do so. And again, I think we attack with Skrelv as opposed to keep it back to protect Singer. Although that's a close call. I'm hoping my opponent just plays a blocker next turn, although in the face of Skrelv a blocker doesn't really work. So maybe I should just protect my Singer anyway. Alright, fine. Eh, Harvester, so that one we can drown. They may still have a cut down in hand as well. But uh, yeah, let's go for Drown. And then I think we still keep Skrelv back to protect our Singer. And then I could pump with a Seed Core before getting the plus one plus one. It's probably okay now. Although I don't think damage is gonna be the way we win this game. It's probably gonna be poison.
Okay. Opponent up to seven poison already. And it's just a blood token sacrificed. Alright. If they just play a blocker, we're good. Spot removal will be redirected to Skrelf, so then we still have three poison. So a sweeper would be the worst case scenario. And our opponent explodes. Awesome. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the play. Our hand is not amazing. Uh, four lands is a bit much. I do like the seed core as a potential way to pump our duelist. If we can get some poison damage in early. And being on the play helps with that. Although four lands still has us flooding out in most circumstances. So... I don't think that's acceptable. This seems better. And then Mirex might be a bit greedy here. Since if I played early, it's going to be a colorless source, which then doesn't really help me cast my spells. And then turn one could go with Skrelf. Turn two, Slaughter Singer, perhaps. And then we can decide to protect the Singer. Although it doesn't seem like our opponent has a cutdown in hand, so it's mostly protecting from a 2-mana removal spell. Could also get the Hive down, which is a bit slow to get going. So maybe we still prefer Singer. And then it may be worth it to protect Singer with Skrelv, since... Skrelv by itself is not incredibly impactful. If they have a two-mana removal spell here. Life of Toshiro can take out Skrelf. But we have a replacement at least. So that's too bad. And then now if I were to play two more one drops they can kill one. So just play Hive now instead. And we'll name White. At least gaining two, not particularly impactful in this matchup. Bankbuster is fine. Okay, another hive. So, can uh, get in for another two poison. And I think I like Skrelv plus hive. What's next? Opponent being mono black means Skrelv giving protection from black is very useful. Sadly, cut down killing our singer here means we're not going to gain nearly as much life of our Skrelv's hive. At least the memory doesn't have enough power to crew Bankbuster, so Skrelv giving pro black means we can attack past the memory of Toshiro. I'll pay two life, so we are. Losing a lot of life here in the process. But uh does mean I can empty my hands and then hopefully take over. Opponent just draws with the bank buster. So we're essentially at six life once we account for our hive. But now our opponent on six poison is very likely to take a lethal next turn. Obliterator doesn't matter. So they can crew the Bankbuster with it, so Skrelv giving pro black is not quite as impactful. But we can just turn the entire team sideways. Pwn's got two blockers and they'll take at least four poison. So that should do it. But yeah, you can see how against a more aggressive deck they might have ended up uh, killing us. I guess we still have to be somewhat careful. Memory can make a black mana, so they could technically still have a cut down after blocking with memory. But yeah, I think we just swing with the entire team still. We'll gain enough life to stay alive on the following turn, hopefully, and then I can still add a duelist to the board. Because if I don't attack with all what happens, they can just block two of my creatures. 
I have to make a move first with Skralv to have lethal, and then it can still kill a creature in response. So, yeah, hopefully there's no cut down. Alright, looks like we might be in the clear. I can uh, sacrifice a uh, land here, Thran Portal can go. Alright, we're good. They had me worried there for a second. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw. Our hand seems acceptable. A bit on the painful side, but we can cast all our spells. And yeah, against Mono Red, that's not where you want a double pain land opener. Okay, so how do we want to curve out? So our goal should be to get to three poison and then play Hive to gain life back. And then... I guess turn one could play Skrelv to protect a Slaughter Singer on two. And if they kill it, it's probably better than killing Skull Dweller since that's a better creature on defense. Okay, Felden at least doesn't block. So now I probably just attack for one and then proliferate with Drown, killing Felden. And that's one of the better answers to Felden, as our opponent doesn't get to find another card with it. Still down to 12 at the very least here. Warfare is also quite scary. So I can drown again. Place Cold Dweller, and then next turn Hive can gain life. Alternatively... Against Cold Dweller plus Singer, but it's not like Singer really blocks the etching very well. So yeah. Kill etching. Attack. Hope there's no end of festivities. And if they're on a warfare build, they're more likely to have one of those two. Another Felden's fine. And a Swiss Spear. Alright, still a lot of damage coming across. So, do I block? I probably should. can block Swiss Spear as opposed to Felden, so they don't get any extra cards. Swiss Spear likely to enable Prowess in the near future. And then hope to just outrace Felden with a life gain from Hive, or we can kill it with a Drown again. A Rock Priest. Yeah, I want to get this Hive going, but... At the moment, it doesn't actually gain me life, since it also loses one in my upkeep. So it's better once I get more creatures down first. If I play Rot Priest plus Singer, I'm down to 3 life, so then I'm forced to block Felden. Which doesn't really help. So I guess that means Rot Priest plus Drown. And then I hope they don't have a Lightning Strike to kill me. Skralv may as well attack, since it cannot block. Another Felden, number three, and a Phoenix Chick. Yeah, so now I have to chump, which is not where we want to be at all. And our opponent found an end of festivities, so yeah. That's going to be game here. Seed core, not enough to save from end of festivities, since it will deal two damage. So this draw just didn't come together, too many pain lands, so not much we can do about it. So can attack, gain three. And then die on the way back, on to the next one. Okay, we're on the play, hand seems fine. Turn one, probably go for Rot Priest. Could also go Skull Dweller and then turn two Skull Dweller plus Rot Priest or maybe Skralv to get more creatures in play early and then wait on Hive until we maybe have Life Link enabled for it right away. Yeah, could buy that as well. Since Black may be a bottleneck otherwise. 
But a turn one Rot Priest also makes sense if they kill it, at least we apply a poison. There's another Rot Priest, so we'll definitely get those in play now. It doesn't look like they had removal. So Skrelv versus another Skull Dweller. I guess Skrelv gives us more utility in case we need to attack past a blocker. And our opponent already concedes. Yeah, they must have had a slow draw, and this can be very punishing. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the play. Our hand's missing green, so I don't think we can keep. This is better. And then, what do we get rid of? Might be Mirax, and then I can still cast all my other spells. Starting with perhaps a Rot Priest on one over a Skrelv. Turn to Hive. Put on blank green, there's another Skrelv. And then hopefully they present a nice target for Drown. Scrap Gorger counts. And we can even double spell. Alright, so we were off to a decent start, although our hands is pretty much on empty now. Opponent's a multicolor deck, so it could be an Atraxa ramp deck. Thalia's not the end of the world. Duelist was a good draw. So it can activate Skrelv on probably just a token here. And then I don't have to pay the life. And with Athalia out, we don't have to worry about an opposing cutdown. And then Duelist plus Skralv is a great combo if we can pull it off. Glissa. Okay, that one's potentially quite scary. And our opponent has multiple callers on defense, although Drown to the rescue. So Drown Glissa. And then we should have the game here once we activate Skrelv on Duelist. So yeah, the addition of the extra black removal, as opposed to just going green-white, does have its advantages. And sure, the tokens can attack too. Okay. And there we have it. So yeah, this uh, Amazon Poison deck is pretty fun to play. Games are over quite quickly, win or lose. The red matchup can be a bit of a struggle, mostly because of our own mana base, but we have the tools to win that game as well, especially with Skrelv's Hive giving a lifelink, and then the many removal options between Drown and Annex Sentry especially, also quite good against a red deck. So I've been having fun with it, it's not the most competitive deck out there, but if you're bored of the traditional green-white versions, maybe give this Amazon build a try. So that's going to do it for today's gameplay, want to thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, and as always, have a nice day. I also want to thank all my patrons for being part of the channel, and you can become a patron yourself today and decide the topic of future videos over at patreon.com forward slash legendvd.